I am real estate man. Hi, this is Scott Bergeron from Center 21, Colonel Obersky, here in lovely Metro Detroit. And today's video is about the seven challenges when someone tries to sell a house on their own, called it for sale by owner. Let's check it out. Number one, prepping for the sale. A lot of folks don't realize that realtors are in hundreds of homes and have a very good eye for curb appeal. Whether it means something as simple as getting some damp rid from Lowe's or Home Depot for $10 to take the moisture smell out of your basement instead of a dehumidifier, which is very sketchy when you look at it, or something that's also as simple as decluttering each room makes a huge difference on the amount of money you might get from a prospective buyer. You need that second pair of eyes to go through your home and, and show you some of the things that are going to help make your home have a little bit more curb appeal. That's one reason why you need a realtor. Two, exposure. Taking a nice sign make that you made yourself and putting it in the ground is definitely not going to get enough buyers to sell your home at a price you want. Most buyers nowadays are online, 95% of them, and usually they're working with a realtor. So unless you can put it on the MLS and the thousands of other websites that are out there, you're missing out on some money if you don't have a realtor. That's reason number two. Reason number three is the ability to coordinate showings. Let's say that you have a very hot property and lots of people want to see it. Are you going to be there with them? Are you going to secure the house every time they come in and come out? Are you going to keep track of who showed when? Are you going to get feedback from each one of them to find which ones are interested and which ones are not? In the market that we're in these days with tons and tons of showings over a weekend's period of time and multiple offers, it definitely becomes a headache and it's something that realtors are used to dealing with. So the third reason to get a realtor is so they can coordinate the showings appropriately and make sure you don't miss out on any prospective buyers. Number four, what's a good buyer look like? Do you know what a good buyer looks like? Well, they're pre-approved. Yeah, pre-approval letters are only as good as the person behind them. Do you know which lenders are notoriously rough with appraisal that come in low? Do you know if they have the assets or the debt to income ratio to afford the home? Those are questions that realtors ask mortgage reps every time they check over or qualify a pre-approval. Just because they have a pre-approval letter doesn't really make it easy to know that they're gonna follow through on the sale. So that's the number four reason why you should have a realtor. Five, there's lots of people negotiating a sale. First, you have to negotiate with the buyer. Second, you may have to negotiate with the buyer's agent. They may have an agent involved or a lawyer. Third, once they go on the inspection, you have to negotiate with the inspector what he's found. And a good realtor can tell you, hey, that's not typically what gets fixed during a private inspection, yes or no. So that's another reason that you need a realtor to guide you through all the different negotiations that go on during a sale as a constant, constant negotiation. Number six, most sellers that don't have an agent don't understand the golden window of time. I tell clients, and it's the truth, that the first two weeks of a house on the market are when it's the hottest. So it needs to be priced appropriately, one, and definitely gotten out to as many agents as possible or people as possible to get as many showings in that time period. When you sell in that first two weeks, it means you're getting the maximum amount of money for your property. Okay. For those folks that are afraid of underpricing something, what you do is you always tell, you always make sure that you have three to five days of showings so the house is properly exposed to the market. Without that understanding of the golden window of the two weeks, most folks are leaving money on the table or pricing the house inappropriately to lose prospective buyers. That's number six. And then finally, the most important reason to have a realtor is the time. I saw somewhere that realtors do 184 things during a real estate process. Okay. Can you order the title work? Do you want to check on showings? Do you want to get feedback? Do you want to negotiate? Do you have time to go to the city and order the city inspection? Do you have time to meet the appraiser? Do you have time to check on the, the clear close? Those are all things that take time. And most folks that are for sale by other, even if they're retired or if they have a job at the time, don't want those headaches, that stress, and that time. A realtor's job is to take the stress on and get you from listing to close with as little stress as possible. Notice I didn't say none, but as little stress as possible with as much money in your pocket. So those are the seven reasons why uh, for sale by owner should get a realtor. 
if they don't, they're leaving money on the table, giving themselves lots of headaches, and time goes right out the window. This is Scott Bergeron from Center 21 Corner in Roberski here in Metro Detroit. Thanks for watching.